Hello, I'm Tori. And I am Lizzie. And welcome back to the Discovery Channel Extinct Edition. Today we will be going back two million years ago to follow the Homo erectus. We apologize for the unrealistic costumes. The Homo erectus doesn't normally wear any clothes, but we have to keep this PG-13. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Discovery Channel Extinct Edition. As you can see, there's a rare Homo erectus over there. It looks like he's trying to find food. The Homo erectus' main diet is strong roots and plants and strong meats. This is because they had very strong eyebrow and jaw muscles, so they could chomp really hard. As you can see, they're eating. It's eating right now. Oh, it's looking for food. It might eat in a minute. Oh! Let's get a little closer, shall we? Go, go, run, run, run! run. As you can see, the Homo erectus has very strong legs, which allows it to run quite fast. The Homo erectus lived on Earth around 2 million years ago. The name Homo erectus means upright man. The Homo erectus, whilst upright, they were not adapted to climb and swing from tree to tree, unlike the Australopithecus africanus featured in our last episode. This allows them to hold weapons, run faster, and see above plants and small trees. The Homo erectus is a descendant from the Homo habilis. The Homo erectus are native to Africa and Eastern Asia. And would you look here? It seems like we have come across one of their homes. Come closer, Lizzie, get this. It looks to be a simple stick and grass hut. While it seems simple, it is very functional. It keeps the Homo erectus cool, out of sight, and out of the sun. The Homo erectus has many adaptations that allow them to survive longer than any other Homo species. The male Homo erectus is typically taller than the female. Males can reach up to six feet in height, while the females are typically only five feet tall. A Homo erectus can weigh anywhere from 88 to 150 pounds. Spotted a wild Homo erectus. Yes, we've got her in our sights. I don't think she sees us yet. Quiet, we don't want to let them hear us. Look at the view. Let's see if we can get a little closer, shall we? Lizzie, what is the full part scientific name of the Homo erectus. Well, the full part name for the Homo erectus is... I see you've brought your research. I have my research Very good, me. you came prepared. I can't find it. You can't it's find it. on here. Okay. Oh, it's Animalia Cordata Mammalia Primate Hominade Homo erectus. Oh, how interesting. But Look that's just right too now. boring. So we're just going to call it the Homo erectus. Isn't yes. that right? Let's, let's Homo erectus means upright man. Oh, yes, well, it is spotted right now. It can run quite fast. Let's see let's if we can get a little closer. How fast can the Homo erectus Be very quiet. Run? Hello? <laughs> oh, she's running! She's running for the hills! She's going! Hold the camera, I'm a fox! <laughs> that the Homo erectus has stolen her hat. Step in a big dookie. Now the Homo erectus is chasing our narrator. I stepped in a big pile. Look at the weapon it has on it. Will yes. it attack? The Homo erectus had brains two thirds. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. Had brains two thirds the size of humans today. So they were able to use technology they turn stones into tools and axes to kill prey, gather materials. But I don't think she stands a chance for us. Oh no, and here comes death, sneaking up on the Homo erectus. Oh no, he's got her in a grasp. Oh, this is so serious. Actually, the Homo erectus did not go extinct from death alone. There was great competition <laughs> between uh, the um, between the Homo sapiens and the Homo erectus over food, but the Homo sapiens had a massive intellect and bigger brains, so they did win, and the Homo erectus, as shown, goes extinct. Thank, Thank you for watching the Discovery Channel Extinct Edition. Be sure to tune in next week when we cover the Homo sapiens. Thanks for watching.
Good luck, Charlie.